Hello and welcome to a new season of Modular in a Week. Um, so today we are going to make the clock divider which I've been talking about a, a long time. Uh, so it's a uh, now we talk about one week builds instead and the past week I've been building this one. It's a really simple clock divider divide by two uh, and divisions thereof so 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. This is a mathematical divider and not a musical one. I'll explain that later but just so you know. It's a simple schematics that I found online uh, which we'll take a look at in a moment. I also today just so you know I did make one more module uh, to help to demonstrate this one so it's kind of a circuit bend or, or not really just a different configuration of a uh, it's called CL9561 16, vo uh, 16 sound module. It's the one down here, which I've added a few things to and made into a modular. I'll have a separate video on what I did to this one. Um, but uh, today we're going to look at this one. Also, I, yeah, um, it's good to... Uh, it's a modular, you're supposed to take everything out and, and rearrange stuff from time to time. So I'm doing a rearrangement of my modules. I'd also like to say thank you to all my patrons who's supporting me in doing these videos. And you can too if you go to patreon.com uh, and there's a link in the description to my actual Patreon page there. And with that, let's go and look at the schematics and how to build this one. So I'd like to go through a few other schematics that I looked at that I didn't build today. So this is the one that I built. It was sent to me in the previous uh, clock divider uh, episode. It's from emezinstruments.com. Uh, uh, there are links, I'll put links to all these schematics. Um, so this is just a 4024 and buffered outputs with LEDs. This one is a mathematical clock divider so it triggers the outputs when the input is low. We'll get back to that. Uh, this one is by Niklas Rönnberg. I've done a few of his modules already. Um, reset input, clock input and 4024 and he uses uh, 5 volts on the on the output side so again he uses both plus 12 volts on on this side of the clock divider and 5 volt power supply on this one just like he like with the AR that I built that I had to make a onboard 5 volt regulator this design is originally by Matthias Hermann, or not this design, the, his design is based on Matthias Hermann's design, which is phonetronic. So this is that design. He solves the mathematical slash musical problem with a bunch of 4069 inverters. So all the output goes through an inverter, so when the input goes low, the output goes low and that's for all the outputs. A good way and I wanted to do this as well but I wanted to do that on the inputs. I'll get to that a bit. <laughs> and he uses a voltage divider here to get the volts down to 5 volts I guess. And then we have the a little bit more interesting, a little bit more complex ones. This is Usynth's clock divider. He uses 34017 and that is those decayed counters, so counting from 0 to 9. And uh, with three rotary switches he can choose three steps and that doesn't matter which step. So a much more versatile module for that. And very interesting, might have to make one of these as well. 
And then comes the really complex one uh, by Ken Stone, the CGS22. And this one has a 4024, and then it has loads of 4070s XOR exclusive ORs. So it's either one or the other, exclusively one or the other. Uh, and loads of those that makes divisions in four phases, four divisions in four phases. A beast looks like, um, but also looks very interesting and might have to think of making one of these as well. And another quite simple one. This one would have been a good one also to make. Uh, this is the Phobos Sapiens clock divider. I don't know what these, he has a lot of flip-flops here in the beginning and I don't know what those do and then on the outputs he solved the 5 volt trigger output or gate output problem with a Zener diode of 5.1 volts so that's also a nice solution. With that let's look at the schematics that I actually built. My original thought was to wing it uh, and just take the designs from all those other use of 4024 and just find all the good pieces of all the the schematics. I managed to stop myself before it was too late uh, and the, the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted the 4106, the inverters on the inputs and uh, on some of the outputs to get more divisions, half divisions and be able to choose to uh, trigger the signal on the on the rising edge and on the falling edge. I didn't do that uh, so in the end I actually went with this schematics. So this is, is from Electronic Music Instruments EMIS instruments.com uh, and this is the the one that you can actually buy a PCB for for six dollars I don't know if that's uh, how, how that works uh, I haven't uh, no affiliation uh, it's just good to know that if you want to build this and don't want to protoboard it then you can buy a PCB for six dollars with that said so I built this one but because, so this is probably made for 15 volts, it doesn't say, uh, so, but when the voltage divider done here with a 1k8 on the, on one side and 1k to ground and then the output uh, actually ended up at 4 volts, so I checked around and putting a 1k8 on both these positions got me to 5 volts almost exactly. So that's one change I did to all the outputs. I also took this circuit and added that to the input, so uh, to the clock input, so I got a, a divide by 1 output as well, because that's not in here. And finally I added a button over here. I'll put up a small image of the schematics, how I connected that. So I can step forward the clock. It's just a small thing I want to have. So those are the few alterations I did to this module. And building it was quite straightforward. This one was no big deal and then you just built all these over and over and over so quite a straightforward build. Uh, let's move over to the modular and look at the module. So this is the panel I'm waiting for two small green buttons to add to the reset and clock uh, buttons. I just added these simple ones right now. So the reset and you have a clocking button so you can clock it forward as you wish. And a reset button. So let's begin with a really slow clock here. So you 
I might explain the musical and mathematical divisions. So if we look at this, there is the the rising edge is when it turns green and the falling edge is when it turns off. And as you can see, it goes high and low, that's when it changes to divide by two. And that's when it divides by four. So it divides on the falling edge. And this means that you get the back beat. If you use the divide by one as a beat, if we take it a bit faster, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you get a back beat. So each of these steps is, is half a beat behind. So that's, you can solve this and I guess that's what, why his module didn't have a divide by one because if you just skip that one and just go with a divide by two and downwards then it's all in sync. So it's just good to know that. Another thing you can use the clock divider for uh, that I should have mentioned earlier is that it is also a sub oscillator. So if we take a square wave from the AAC VCO, for example, into the clock input, and we now see that the all these over here is actually lit almost all the way. Um, so if we connect to audio instead, so first we connect divide by one, and then we can add divide by four for example that was a bit divide by two and now we get a sub oscillation of that not exactly divided by two because of the falling edge thing but and we can add more So much more than just this. And of course this means that you can have very many octaves down with sub oscillation. Here we're working with only clicks, so there's one oscillator going out into a mixer and into the clock divider and we take the divide by 2, divide by 4 and divide by 16 putting into the mixer over here and just adding those signals together. and we get a kind of a rhythmic movement. In this patch we are taking the CV triangle out from one of the 13700 VCLFOs and into the clock. And again we're just working with clicks to here. And as you can hear we get kind of a galloping effect. It's it's a bit slow, so I, I can't explain it, but you get the different beats. So that's an interesting thing because probably the it w it is halfway down the triangle slope that the it goes from high to low, and that gives an interesting effect as well.
And with this simple clock divider we are one module closer to playing in sync and actually keeping the beat. Uh, this can be used as a really simple drum sequencer where you have the bass drum, hi-hat and uh, snare for example of a really simple uh, 4x4 beat. Um, Vintergatan, if you haven't seen his channel where he's building the Marble Machine X, uses of course not electronic, he's doing it uh, mechanically with just a few wheels flying around with flaps that he has done into a kind of simple drum machine. Again, if you watch his video there, that is also just divisions. You can find links to most of the modules used in this episode and the things I've shown uh, in the link, in the thingies that show up on screen or in my playlist for modular in a week. Uh, I'll also send just after this a video where I play a modular set with the clock divider uh, to show a bit more how, how how quickly this became much more musical, at least that's what I think. Kind of a techno -y beat. We don't have any drums, so I had to make up drums. You'll see that in that video. So until next time, hope you like this. Show that with a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribing, please subscribe. Want to become a patron? That's a good idea, I think. Uh, and until next time, take care. Bye.